after playing Hollow Knight for 4D hours across 10 different streams, we finally have reached the ending and chat is allowing me to watch a beautiful, beautiful video. The Moss Bag lore video, the complete lore of Hollow Knight. Um, we're about to watch it. The link to it is in the description. Go give it some love. I also got the link to the Hollow Knight VODs in the description if you're trying to give those a little bit of love for me. But... Without further ado, get your uh, juices, get your freaking honey, get your hornet plushie, and let's jump into it. Let's jump into it. The mostly complete lore of Hollow Knight by Moss Bag. Like and subscribe to Moss Bag. Shout out to Moss Bag. This is probably a goaded video. We're about to find out. Let's get it going in three, two, one, bang. Let me know if audio is a problem. Okay, wait. A few spoilers. Please bear that in mind before embarking. Okay, bet. <laughs> Press the like button for a second time. No, a third time to turn it back on. If you were to ask me, what is your favorite video game ever made? I would have to say Cory in the House for the Nintendo Yeah, DS. that's a goaded game. That's actually true. Hollow Knight would be a close second. Hollow Knight was released on February 24th, <laughs> stupid. That's just 2017 stupid by Captions. Team Cherry, an indie game studio based in the mythical land of Adelaide, South Australia. Over the past three years, Hollow Knight has become an indie darling the game has sold over three and a half million better? copies. It was the opening game at ADGQ 2019. There's a Hollow Knight book, a line of plushies. There's plushies? T-shirts, nicotine patches, nuclear warheads, and even vinyl records for all you Wait, goddamn- Wait, I want a plushie. I want a, I want a Hornet plushie. Cherry had one goal when making Hollow Knight. They wanted to create a world that allowed players to get completely lost in exploration. We can see this desire in Hollow Knight's design. The levels in Hollow Knight are massive with secrets and rewards hidden in every nook and cranny. Be that powerful charms, special abilities, or, uh... The game's navigation system eggs. requires the player to work for their map, forcing them to make a stronger mental image of the world in their head. Sure. Christopher Larkin's score and Ari Gibson's artwork lend to this as well, creating an atmosphere that the player won't want to leave. But there's one aspect of Hollow Knight that keeps people like me coming back. The world building. When Super Metroid launched in 1994... Okay, I gotta pause. I'm sorry, it's been a minute and 40, but I, like, this is such a YouTuber moment to just jump to Super Metroid. Like, what is going on? Alright, sorry, 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 sorry. Now in 1994... It's just like, what's going on? Okay. But I've watched enough YouTube video essays to know that this game... Oh, for the exploration, you're gonna make a comparison for the exploration... Super Metroid Metroidvania. Okay. Yeah, we gotta start with the classics. That's why they're called... Metroidvania, Hollow Knights of Metroidvania, sure. Now in Super Metroid, like that. are moments that give the player a sense of depth. Alright. Basically the... We need to take a pause. This is Tetris. The first video. This is Pong. The first video game. That this world exists outside of Samus's interactions with it. In the room right before that diabetic crocodile thing, Samus can find the corpse of a random soldier. His inclusion here doesn't change the gameplay at all, but instead gives the player a sense of wonder about the world they are exploring. Who was this guy? Why was he here in the first place? Did he like jazz? Epic of Gilgamesh, true. <laughs> now, finding dead bodies... Did he like jazz? Be, be movie? Is pretty cool, right? Well, Hollow Knight basically does the same thing. About a dozen times. Through its world building, Hollow Knight turns Hollow Nest into a living kingdom. You can <coughs> sense the ancient history of the land when you look at dilapidated structures or giant barred doors. Nothing feels like it was put into the game randomly. There's a reason for it all. Except those reasons aren't the easiest to uncover. Whoa, Hall I never Knight's saw narrative that. is buried under layers of NPC dialogue, Don't talk to item Zero. descriptions, lore tablets, and even additional content like the Quarrel comic and fan game oh, Wanderer's there's a cool comic. Journal. These That's past cool. three years have seen an insane amount of research by the Hollow Knight community to make sense of Team How to eat ass, run it back. Research by the Hollow Knight community to make sense... How to eat ass, introduction. Rimming is having a moment. Long thought of a more advanced sexual activity is being added to the repertoires of people who describe themselves as being fa fairly vanilla. Here's everything you need to know if you're curious about giving Rimming a try. What is it? Rimming? I shouldn't be talking about this! Simple answer, because it feels good. It has nerve endings and enjoys being stimulated. Alright, 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 sprawling world. We've even made it to the point where people are looking at the in-game signs. No way that actually works. How That's insane. Honest logo graphic language. Should I play Hall Knight with the amount of appreciation for you? I see this game as a win. It's you should play it if it's if the gameplay looks fun. I game. I only play games for gameplay, honestly. Yeah. I, I very rarely play games for story. 
It happens, but it's rare. Um, if the gameplay looks fun and the exploration looks fun, you should do that. history and uncertain future. 100%. I would recommend it if you're making surprisingly accurate Super Smash Brothers roster speculation videos or insightful podcasts about beloved subjects like the Donkey Kong Country television. Unlisted 13 views, Omega Lol. Or whatever this was supposed to be. I'm usually making videos about Hollow Knight. And while I am a seasoned Hollow Knight lore expert, I cannot confirm that every musing or theory presented in this video pages. is completely Damn. correct. And it's thick. I highly recommend checking out the lore section of the Hollow Knight wiki if you want to more... Yeah, if, if you're planning to play this, you probably shouldn't watch this so you can experience the world But if you're too lazy to read, then I suggest you sit back, order some Domino's pizza, oh, I should or order just some grab Domino's a block pizza. of cheese from the fridge. I don't have a block of cheese. And enjoy the mostly complete lore of Hollow Knight. It's a simple fact of life that every human worships a god. Be that I'm the god. I worship myself. Ideologies, Thoughts? or in rare cases, God. As it turns out, the bugs in Hell Nest pretty much operate in the same way. Just a snack. From just the mosskin born from the dream of a giant slug, to the emo kids of the ancient civilization who literally worship the darkness, mm. there is no shortage of things to worship in the world of Hollow Knight. Our story begins with a creature very much worthy of worship. A creature born from the carcass of a worm. The carcass can still be oh, found in the that. Kingdom's yeah. Edge, and it's our only good look at what worms actually looked like. At the time Hollow Knight occurs, it is suggested there are no worms left in the world. They were incredibly long creatures that featured little to no limbs. Like a purple worm. Another more mysterious property of worms was that they had some kind of perscience or foresight. Basically, they could see the future to some capacity. It isn't clear how effective this ability was. Considering how the entire race went <laughs> extinct, yeah, they didn't see this that coming. foresight ability must have been pretty shit. That's funny. Getting back to this particular worm carcass, it is explained that this worm traveled across the distant mountains and wastelands beyond Hallownest. Once it arrived in Hallownest, the worm died. Except not really. Inside the maw of the carcass sits a pale broken egg, out of which hatched a new form of worm, a being of meager shell. This form of the worm is usually referred to as the Pale King, oh and he's the character gonna get so basically responsible for everything that happens in Hollow Knight. So the worm came here, the Pale King died, is a higher being, made the pale a type king. of creature that exists above okay. all others. His body was said to shine with a radiant vestige that harmed those who looked upon him. The ultimate goal of the Pale King seemed to be in line with that of other worms. A line from the cryptic Mr. Mushroom reads, Worms pull bugs into their thrall. Till ages pass and kingdoms fall. Spit, in other words, spit. it's just in their nature. Dogs wag their tails, cats bury their shit, and worms bring massive amounts of bugs into their surface. Hey, that's good, Tim. Long standing there kingdoms and civilizations. And here in the far it. corner of the world, the Pale King emerged from the corpse of his former self and began to build his eternal so kingdom. So he's still a worm, right? He's still a worm? Yeah, worm reborn because he said like like other worms, so he still counts as a worm. There's this one slight That's problem. That's kind of weird. There's like people already living there. Yeah, just a new form. The area that would eventually become Hallowness. Oh, this was is kind of lit. Okay. Filled with mantises, bees, moths, spiders, mushrooms, Spider and bro. bush cosplayers. Nice bush in there. <laughs> Each of these groups were already operating <laughs> right. with their own cultures and societies and each group had a different interaction with the Pale King. One of the more receptive groups to the arrival of the Pale King were the mushrooms of the fungal wastes. These creatures were able to communicate with one another through one shared mind. The mushrooms viewed this shared mind as a strength, and they were kind of smug dickheads about it. Ultimately, the mushrooms wearily accepted- <laughs> Like, why is they, why are they smug dickheads? Rule, viewing his foresight as a shield to the dangers okay. of the future. Another group living in the fungal wastes is the Mantis tribe. They're kind of... The Mantises have a rich culture... I feel like they wouldn't like ...reaching them. back to long before the birth of Hallownest. The Mantises are a Well, maybe tribe, if he was strong enough. ...believing in yeah. the importance of proving yeah. one's physical strength. The Mantises are fiercely territorial. Because I, I don't think he looks strong. He looks small. Power. But maybe he These counted Fight as Club power. enthusiasts were led by we'll four see. powerful Mantis lords, who I guess just kind of sat around waiting for outsiders to challenge them. K the things. Mantis tribe right. had no interest in the Pale King's kingdom, but the two communities something, did something come traitor to kings? In exchange Truce. for their okay. independence from Hallownest, the Mantis tribe kept the beasts of Deepnest from invading Hallownest. I see. Not sure why they didn't just go out the other exits from Deepnest, but whatever. I'm not an expert on Border Patrol. I don't work at ICE anymore. 
Let's move on to Deep Nest. Now many of the different tribes of Hallow Nest were kind enough to leave lore tablets behind, detailing pretty much everything we need to know about them. Unfortunately, the bugs of Deep Nest didn't do that. We know that the spiders of Deep Nest had a monarchy because why not? Those are always good, right? Also within Deep Nest are a separate group of spiders that immigrated to Deep Nest at some point in the past. This group was known as the Weavers, and they established their own culture and history within Deep Nest. They used looms of silk to weave stories, spells, and shields. I'm curious what Hornet One thing we know for sure about to. Deep Nest is that they really didn't want anything to do with Hallow Nest. The struggles of Deep Nest Hallow Nest relations would become painfully clear as time goes on, but for right now, it seems like the two remained fairly isolated from one another. Wait, say that again, sorry. Another the struggles of Deep Nest Hallow Nest relations okay, yeah, yeah. really isolated from one another. Another section of pre Hallow Nest includes Green Path. Now, as far as we can tell, the mushrooms, mantises, and spiders of Who Deep built Nest it, then? didn't worship any higher beings. Who built this? There is this giant mushroom corpse in the fungal core, but I don't think this is a higher being. I mean, who the hell would want to worship a fat ass mushroom? Fat ass slugs? Now that's what? dope. The land okay. we know as Green Path was created by the higher being known as Un. Un used her great mind to dream the vegetation of Green Path into the once barren caverns. Un's followers, the Mosskin, were also born out of Un's dream, making her their creator. Green Path at its height was actually much larger than we see in game. At one point, Green Path stretched into both modern day Queen's Garden modern day. and possibly Fog Canyon. Green Path's citizens showed themselves to be a fairly developed society. They built a temple at the Lake of Un in order to worship her. And they even had their own line of defense, with Moss Knights showing proficiency in combat, using nails and shells as weapons. The Law of Un continued to remain in effect even after the Pale King arrived, but it seems like they allowed the King to establish a road through their lands, leading travelers to the heart of Hallow Nest. Hence the name Green Path. Yeah, Team Cherry really racked their brains when naming this area, didn't they? They cooked, they cooked, Next, they cooked. Next, we have the bees. And while there is no lore on how these bees can turn into fucking drills, or They're how lit. they can ignore all known laws of aviation, okay, we do quiet. know how they <laughs> reacted to the Pale King. These bugs decided to steal their hive off from the rest of the world, with only patrol bees being able to enter and exit the hive. We found them, So though. yeah, the we bees are pretty them. much pointless in this story. <laughs> okay, cool. And finally, we have the moth tribe. They're the coolest because they have the dreamers. The only moth settlement is right, in the resting the grounds. But the tribe might have also inhabited the Crystal Peak at one point. Now, as we all know, moths in real life are just complete assholes. What? As for the moths in Hollow Knight... Yeah, I like that one. Well, I forgot it's a bit complicated. The moth race is described as being a rather pacifist group, with few ever choosing to take up a weapon. During the Pale King's reign, the moth race delved amongst dreams and the dead, displaying the importance of remembering those who have passed, as well as learning how to shape dreams themselves. Agreed. Moths yeah, did. moths are the fine. Moths Shout out moths. Oh, radiance. The radiance. Okay, radiance is the, the radiance mother of wasps. Radiance is described as being a light um, um, moth, moth, moth tribe basked. So she was basically a, giant a lamp. lamp. Yo, oh, that's crazy. Okay, another hurry. important that's aspect funny. about the radiance is her ties to dreams like that. and a substance known as essence. The dream essence nail the stuff. Yeah. Of wishes and dreams. That's why she turned into a bunch of essence when she, she dies. Catch her particle effects. Essence can take the form of whispering roots, as well as dream ghosts, both sense. of which are memories taking root in the world. The Radiance appears to be a creature made of essence, but she isn't the only higher so being Pale King, of essence. Un has green particles, un. the Pale King has gray particles, and this sexy oh, you. Grim, gives off fiery That's red right. particles. So those are the four. However, probably. the Radiance appears to be the main god when it comes to dreams, even if other gods also dabble in the dream realm. Getting back to the Moth Tribe, it is their interaction with the Pale King that we need to discuss. I Basically, never played the Moths grounded. turned their backs on the Radiance completely in order to worship the new light that had appeared. The <gasps> Pale King. Oh, light. they betrayed her. So yeah, Moths are assholes. Wait, they betrayed their tribe. god with her for tribe Pale forsaking King. Her, That's the crazy. Radiance became a forgotten memory, a remnant of the past, and a thing that's definitely not going. Oh, to for come sure. Yeah, it's not coming back. Definitely not. Video. That's crazy, and actually. And so the Pale King's new kingdom was established, Hallow Nest. With but the there moths? is one aspect of Hallow Nest that we need to discuss. Unfortunately, to better understand this, we're going to have to and read I some, some other people. poetry. In Wilds like Beyond, the they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet you the challenge met. Under Palest Watch, you taught, we changed. Base instincts were redeemed. A 
a world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. That lot. Wait, 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 wait. Cooking, cooking, cooking. As they had never dreamed is even crazier because they betrayed the Radiance, the god of dreams, for the, for the Pale King. So that saying it wasn't be? dreamed actually cooks because they betrayed them. The dream god. Uh, not right. You can send all that later. I'm not going to read anything right now. I just want to lock in with the video. As they that cooks. That's pretty sick, actually. This I like is from that. a poem titled Elegy for Hallownest, written by Motomon the Teacher. The poem appears at the beginning of every playthrough and hints at what the Pale King and his kingdom offer. Much of the land outside of Hallownest appears to be a wasteland where bugs survive off of instinct without the burden of mind. Hallownest somehow the burden of mind. That's how I survive. and tame their savagery. Basically, the Pale King changed the instincts of his subjects yeah. and granted them high Get enlightened. Thought. To get a better picture of this, let's look at two different characters, Boone and Tuck. These adorable panda bug things give us a clear display of how messed Did I ever meet this guy? I do not recall this guy. Tuck the panda bug? That looks like a panda. No, he's not actually a panda bug. I don't remember this guy. Fact. While both appear to be the same species of bug, Boone is dumb as a sack of rocks. I think you found Tuck. Struggling to string together sure. words, while Tuck speaks fairly clearly. The main difference between these two characters is that while Boone lives outside of Yeah, Hallowness, so he doesn't have his instincts. Tuck lives beneath the city's Tuck capital. has the instincts. Basically, he sells rancid eggs. I don't think I remember that. This is a literal holy ground that raises the intelligence of those who dwell with So it's crazy that we came from outside Hollowness. The Pale King established a path starting from the kingdom's entrance in King's Pass, winding through Greenpath in the fungal wastes, and finally ending at the massive capital at Hallowness Heart. We now know the capital city as We're the like city Loki of Tears, fifth. but that was likely not its original name. The rain that falls down onto the city from yeah, we know the this. lake above didn't begin until after the kingdom collapsed. Didn't know so that. unless That's the cool. capital was originally named by some edgy literature student, the name City of Tears wouldn't have made much sense. The Loki the best area in the game, all this appears by the way. to have been his desire to be worshipped. The citizens of Hallowness believe that the Pale King created the world and everything in it. Shrines to the king can be found scattered throughout the kingdom, and king's idols were created and distributed to followers of the king. Despite the worship, the Pale King often kept himself hidden from his subjects, possibly to hide his blemishes. I mean, Whoa, if you yeah? look at the size of the real Pale King to his statue in the ancient basin... Aww, the he had a Napoleon complex. The Pale Napoleon King's White complex. Palace was also built underneath the city, separating him from his subjects even so, more. So they could idolize him more. At the same time, that's real. That's real. You want to get idolized? Don't show your full self. You gotta Golden hide yourself. Powers became shunned in Hallownest. Though we don't know for sure if the Pale King had anything to do with this. The art's lit. The art Light is blood is a blue nice. liquidy substance that leaves those who drink it feeling refreshed. However, the use of lifeblood was seen as a taboo, and those who used it were demonized as heretics. The use of soul for combat was also shunned. Soul is a sort of life force in Hollow Knight that animates the bodies of living creatures. But some characters are able to control the soul of others to conjure powerful spirits. But aside from a few exceptions, no citizens of Hallownest ever used this power. However, the Pale King didn't rule alone. Okay. There was another higher being in the mix. I remember her. A being known as the we White We saw her lady. in the Pantheon 5. The White Lady is a weird, root-like being and that a can previous. be found in the modern-day yeah. Queen's Gardens. She is encased in a strange cocoon, and we know very little about her. With as much exposition we get for the Pale King, there is next to nothing on the White Lady. But one thing we do know is that she likes to breed. Like, a lot. Yeah? The White Lady would okay. often retreat to the Queen's okay. Gardens, okay. an area of land once controlled by the Moss Kid. I don't mind that. I don't mind that lore. I like that lore. And actually went places is a lore question. I like that lore. I would too. Expertise. She's the hottest one in the, the game. The White Lady is also known as a pale being, along with the pale king. Yeah, she looks so similar What exactly a lot are pale beings? I don't know. Well, we don't know for right, sure, cool. but they seem to stand out. Even she's a higher being too, though. She's a higher being, being too. Even more so powerful. she's a super higher being. I know that's a little confusing, so let's I think she's better than example. Hornet. I'm going to be real. Hm, I'd sorry. say that regular higher beings are like a TP-Link Archer C7 AC1750 wireless dual band gigabit router, while pale beings are like the Asus rt a Is this an ad? <laughs> AX6000 dual band 8x gigabit Wi-Fi router. Under the Pale King, Hal <laughs> a bit of an industrial revolution. He ordered the construction of the Stagways, shout out the Stagways, shout out the Stagways, transport passengers and goods. 
the for all I want a taste of the, the, the storerooms above the, the city of lady. tears were used to store goods that traveled along these stagways. The king also ordered the construction of the tramways because literally no one oh, right, is safe yeah, yeah. from the threat of automation. A tram was built between the forgotten crossroads and the resting grounds. A second tram was built from the kingdom's edge across the ancient basin over to Deep Nest. And then a third tram was started in Deep Nest and attempted to go further oh, into Deep Nest. And then Deep Nest Not said sure no. how useful that would have been to the bugs of Hallow Nest, but whatever. There's a the limit to, a smart guy. to... I'm not going to question him. Shown here being dead. But anyway, dead. the Pale King's yeah. super smart plan to build a tram in Deep Nest ended up getting a few of his tram workers killed. The bugs of Deep Nest rejected the Pale King's attempt to build a tram in their territory. Further submitted that's what the I expected. shared yeah. between the two groups. Would have let that happen. Aside from convenient fast travel, regular pathways were also used to cart goods so around the kingdom. Music is smacking. From this was born probably one of the most important groups in Hallow Nest, and perhaps even all of fiction. An elusive guild of bugs, all of fiction, known as the Mender Bugs, took to maintaining the various signs scattered throughout Hallow Nest. From the the sign of makers. The bugs, we can catch a glimpse. I've not of read Lord of the Rings. And unknowable minds. Dear, dear diary. What is going on? I've watched it though. Beautiful thing, fixing signs, mending posts. Let them break, I say. I'm a better mender for all that repairing. I sometimes doubt there's a single bug in all of Hollow Nest happier than me. Another example of the Pale King's expansion. I don't care about the sign makers. Your signs, I never once paid attention to a single sign in the game. There'd be a sign that says bench in the next room, and I would walk past it and go, where's the bench? Crystal Peak. This area is- I don't care. That grow rapidly <laughs> along walls, ceilings, I do not value the sign makers. Bugs. These they are just fun things to smack. To the bugs of Hallownest. They do repair it, that's true. Scale mining Shout out that one miner girl. We don't actually see- the, Like, okay, like the miner, like the miner that mines the material girl. The, the in the mines girl. Shout out that one in the mines girl. Used anywhere else in Hallow Nest, but they are said to contain <laughs> a sort of energy. The crystals are also said to sing if you listen very carefully. Oh my god, I can't, I can't, the fucking, fuck you. <laughs> In terms of military, this guy. Um, first line of defense appeared the to be poo -poo? simply known as the five Oh, the five great knights. That makes sense, yeah. The members One of, of the poo -poo. coalition were Ogrim, Ogrim's Hegemol, poo -poo. Zamir, Dryya, and Isma. Shut up, them. For being so important, most of the information about these knights has been lost to time. Ogrim is the knight we know the most about, since he is one of the few knights still alive during the events of the game. Ogrim expressed a great amount of loyalty towards the I remember the king, that, yeah. And he maybe had something going on with Isma, Ooh. but we really don't know. Isma, Ogrim you can do better. Known for his sense of humor and his soft-spoken voice. But at the same time, he was also dummy thick. Oh, this is the Schlammer. Mysterious Amir arrived in Hallow's from a serene land, bringing with her a collection of delicate flowers. Oh, is this where you get at the one flower point, from? At some point, she also got yeah, into that? a relationship maybe? with a mantis. But not just any mantis. A daughter of one of the Mantis Lords. She got in a relationship with a daughter? So, yeah, it seems like they're gay, gay bugs! These great True? Were slain Lit. in more ways than one. All we really know about they are slaying. is that she was fierce, caring, and wise. As for Isma, she was described as being kind. She also appears to be I some love that. sort of weird plant life form, but there's no information on where she's from or what her powers were. The five great knights play an important role in the champion's call. The Knotted Grove and the Battle of the Black. What are you yap? I, I don't no know what, those... what these events were. Okay, cool. I was about to say I don't know what any of that is talking about, but at least both of us don't know. Together. During Hallowness reign, there was another strange area. Oh, we awake. Is separate <laughs> from we the Pale King's rule. All right, separate Carved from the out of the corpse of an ancient Coliseum bug, of Fools. An area okay. called the Coliseum that. of Fools was constructed. <laughs> and it was okay, wait a second. Did they really like use a mod or something to get rid of Hollow Knight, like the character, of an ancient so that you could, so that they could get like establishing shots? It was constructed, and it was that's crazy. Destination for warriors have, yeah. from outside Hollow Nest. The sole purpose for fighting in the Coliseum appeared to be simply for <laughs> that's <game>. funny. <laughs> with a mysterious figure known as the Lord Fool overseeing the combat. We don't know when the Coliseum was constructed or if the Pale King was involved. But when we beat all of those, right? The Pale Lurker. I think we beat all of those. I don't remember Coliseum, if we did. Perhaps we did. indicating the Pale King's approval. And finally, that was pretty tilting, too. Wings. 
where the fecal excrement of the kingdom was washed out into the fungal wastes. This area saw the rise of a species of parasite-like creatures called the flukes. The flukes spawned I hate from the, the flukes. fluke marm, a giant monster with cavities in which tinier flukes <clears throat> live. There really isn't too much lore involved with the flukes, but I do need to point out that the fluke marm is canonically a MILF. Perhaps I have judged you too harshly, fluke marm. Like, that's not even debatable. The sky is blue, 2 plus 2 equals 4, <laughs> and we all want to fuck this thing. I was about to say it got a lot of holes! And it so do got a lot of holes! Halnest at its height. Halnest was a vast kingdom connected by a network of stagways and tram stations. The bugs of Halnest mourned their dead on the resting grounds, engaged in commerce using Geo, the de facto currency of the region, and a thriving capital located in the middle of the kingdom. The Pale King had succeeded in crafting a full-blown society, but we all know there are pitfalls to okay. living in a society. This guy got jokes, As bro. As a suspiciously knowledgeable hunter points out in his journal, the Pale King had created a population of weak and pathetic creatures. They lost the their instincts. did not hunt for their own food and had become complacent with their comfort. This is even more obvious with the east wing of the capital. These greedy members oh, of Halloness High yeah, I mean, this is just reality, became though, complete right? cowards, obsessed with riches. Like a modern person from versus wealth. oh, she kind of lit. Living in a modern person versus a caveman. Caveman wins. Instinctive simpletons they once were. Their savagery had been replaced with intelligence, and through that intellect, if you're like they both gave the, the Pale King the devotion and service he desired. Like no guns, you know. And while there were a few snags along the way. They were shining times for the king and his subjects. Resting at the threshold of Halonest is a strange lore tablet, proclaiming Halonest to be the last and only civilization. It calls Halonest an eternal Well, because it's the last worm, this right? This appears to have been the Pale King's goal. For Maybe like the, stand as the last the worm, it, they're actually as a right. Final beacon for because he was the last worm, and, that and he's was what the kind of made ultimate civilization. So maybe all the worms. He could succeed where so many others like each of the worms had attempted this, and he was the last worm Long to attempt it. The Pale Kings Something like that. Or the Barry Bensons of the world. Barry Benson. The land of Halonest okay. was controlled by an ancient caste. Hints of Halonest history are littered throughout the land, with the most notable examples being the soul totems and arcane eggs. One sect of these ancient bugs didn't worship a god like the Pale King, or any lord, but instead a dark and mysterious substance known as the Void. Opposite of the Radiant? This ancient caste sure. once also tried to lay claim to the entire land of Halonest, but they too failed. Okay. In his quest that makes to conquer sense. all of Halonest, all the, things the Pale King the had made an enemy, an enemy long forgotten, an enemy that was about to be remembered. I mentioned earlier that the Moth tribe entirely forgot about the Radiance in order to worship the Pale King, but that isn't quite true. Memories of her still lingered, and hushed whispers of faith kept the Radiance alive. At the summit of the Crystal Peak, a location known as Halonest Crown, a strange collection of glyphs can be found. Joining these glyphs is a statue of the Radiance, presiding over the kingdom below. This old summit is the sole standing shrine left to the Radiance. This was built in order to keep the memory of the Radiance alive. The Radiance's light began to appear in the dreams of Halloness citizens. This light manifested itself- oh, That's in crazy. You really stopped worshipping the dream god. Like, bro, you still gotta sleep. You know what I mean? You still gotta sleep. That's crazy. That ravaged through the kingdom's tunnels. Like, what a- what a- like a- what a- like- you can't stop worshiping that one, it's gonna worm its way back in. That makes so much sense. Infected fall into a deep sleep, and awaken with broken minds. Some of the lesser bugs tried to resist the Radiance's mm. light, which only resulted in them being consumed by it even more so. What does the orange juice have to do with stuff, though? Wills and began attacking bugs that weren't okay. infected. Radiance started making the, the world collapse. The also twisted the bodies of its hosts, causing them to bloat and occasionally develop orange Oh, so she is the orange. Bodies. She is the orange stuff. For many victims, up, they were reverted back to their basic instincts, carrying out the duties they once fulfilled in life, but now as mindless slaves. Yeah, it's the physical manifestation of her stuff. Into the Radiance's hive mind, and, and then she's hive minding everyone. That's really scary. Their bodies if needed. She's a as menace, the bro. She's a menace. Across Halonest, many groups look to solutions to fight off the Radiance's light. The gates to the City of Tears were closed in an attempt to keep the infection from reaching the city. The stagways were also shut down at some point, and many of the stags eventually died out, but some took more proactive efforts <laughs> against the infection. 
the scholars of the Soul Sanctum decided to harness the power of Soul in an attempt to fight the infection. This resulted in the deaths of hundreds of bugs, whose souls were sucked out and injected into the bodies of the scholars. The That's crazy. Their goal was to achieve- I don't even have a response to that other than, oh my goodness, they literally sucked the souls out of the weak ones and the gave it to the scholar class, and that's why they're using soul weaponry. And they're all doing that, and, it, and it's like the craziest thing is like, dude, I wonder if like she could taint the soul, bro. Like, imagine if her juice, scholars of the soul, because she's like corrupting people. Like, if the, you if you tried to soul suck somebody that had orange juice, would it like this? Would that be safe to do? Because like, it, were they killing normal subjects or were they like purging the infected? That's my question. That's what I don't know. Soul Sanctum decided to harness the power of because I would assume it would be tainted and they'd be too scared to, to mess with it. Which means that they would they would have chosen, um, they like wouldn't have gone for that, and they would have only taken it from the uninfected. So like you already have a population that's collapsing from the infection, and so you also suck out the soul. And I mean it's like you can't get infected if you have no soul in your body because you're dead. So that's kind of a dodge. Souls and dreams are kind of on the same side. Yeah, and that's kind of the worry. So you probably couldn't. It'd be too risky to suck from the radiance infected people. Which means you'd have to kill your own population to in to, an attempt to, to, to fight defense. the infection. This resulted That's in the deaths oh, well, of hundreds of yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. whose souls were sucked out and injected into the body. Oh, he does have orange eyes though. Is, that's like orange color. Skull. Maybe so. Maybe a little bit got in. Maybe they were doing infected people because he's got orange eyes. Their goal was to achieve some kind of pure focus. Or maybe he just got corrupted somehow later. Somehow protect them okay. from plagues of the mind. The scholar's leader, the soul master, was driven mad yeah. by the sheer power of soul. And his entire sect failed to avoid infection. Yeah, okay, so they did get infected at some but point. But hey, at least they took as many innocent yeah. people down with them as they could. Real? The Mantis tribe, showing a stronger will than the common bug, were able to stave off the infection. However, one of the four Mantis the traitor one, yeah. turned against his Oh, sisters. orange eyes. Makes sense. He and his followers took in the infection willingly, as it gave them more strength and courage. At some point during all this, the traitor lord and his followers yeah. were exiled from the Mantis village, eventually taking up residence in the Queen's Gardens. The traitor lord's daughter ended up dying at some point. This is the same Mantis that was in a I was about to say, with Zemir, yeah, I was about to say. One of the five great knights. But the Mantises rejected their union because of Zamir's outsideness. As a gamer, this type of prejudice is all too familiar. <laughs> okay, shut and up. Honestly, it makes me sick. So true. Chat, can I get a hashtag gamers rise up for all my poor gamers out there that are outside of society and are getting hoed for it? It's completely Yikes. useless to fight against the infection. The this is so sad. Own scheme. A scheme involving a strange Rest substance peace, bro. known as Void. As I mentioned earlier... Wait, who's doing this? Involving ...against the infection. The Pale King devised his own... Okay, as I Pale King earlier, is using Void. Pale King's White Palace... I mean, Void's like the opposite of Radiance, right? ...the Ancient Basin. But his castle wasn't so... the only noteworthy thing down there. Kinda makes sense. At the bottom of the ancient basin was the entrance to a pit known as the Abyss. Within the Abyss was a lake composed of void. The Pale King realized that this void could be given form, as evidenced by an imprint of such deep within it the Abyss. It can do something with soul, because that's what our abilities are, right? Civilization that Remember, predated Halibus. That's like the super... The Pale the King devised forms. a workshop in his palace where he placed void in armor shells imbued with soul creating servants known as King's mm. Molds and okay. Wing Molds. These void creatures were somehow imprinted with the desire of the Pale oh, King. Oh, like the Collector, maybe? So they would serve him. Maybe the Collector's it part of this? It isn't clear when the Pale King started making these creatures. There is evidence to imply that even common bugs were aware of King's Molds. But the point is, the Pale King turned to the Void in order to create another creature. One that he believed could contain the Radiance and yeah. her infection. He tried to create a pure vessel. Oh. The Radiance's infection needs its host That's to a have line. a will and a mind in order to enslave it. A oh, pure vessel is a one? creature made of void I designed see. to lack those features. The Pale King believed that by harnessing the void inside a pure vessel, he would be able to stop the infection. Well, it doesn't work because remember this guy. This guy got juiced. We fought this guy. He got juiced. Casting eternal. So we still but got his method for creating this so-called pure vessel was incredibly cruel. This is where the White Lady and her King Kong-sized libido <laughs> come into play. These two higher beings engaged in a union of some kind, resulting in the creation of several eggs that were dropped down into That's the That's crazy. Eggs. There, the Void seeped into these eggs, corrupting the offspring of the Pale King and the White Lady. 
This act resulted in the creation <gasps> of the vessels. Oh. The vessels are not technically considered to be alive. They are oh. shells created from the pale king I'm and white lady knows. that have been filled with a void. Within each vessel is a yeah. shell, a completely void being hidden behind the face of the vessel. I see. Vessels are also non-gender. I guess because they're dead or something? I'm not sure if that's how that works, but whatever. I'm not an expert on these kinds of things. I don't work at ice okay. anymore. Thousands of vessels were created during this process, but only one was chosen as Holon the pure Well, not vessel. me, but Hollow Knight. This particular vessel, chosen yeah. by the Pale King, was deemed the Hollow Knight, the and Hollow was taken Knight. away to the White Palace. But I want to take a bit of a closer look at this part of the story. There are a number of questions and theories surrounding yeah, oh, this that's him. Yeah, that that's I really him want to dig into. The big question yeah, surrounding this moment is why was the Hollow Knight chosen over any other vessel? One common theory is that the Pale King took these vessels back to the White Palace and evaluated them using his... Yeah, that's that's vessels. the point. That's the point they're trying this to make. Is probably the least <laughs> no, that's just a challenge, bro. I don't it know if that's... Exists just to explain the bus I think the, the bus stars are just there for, for gameplay. I don't know if they're trying to be in the lore like that. I mean, maybe, but... How does being good at super meat... Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's the hardest part, too. That's the hardest part of the map. Logistics in a game about magic bugs funny. is never a good idea. How exactly did the and, and well, and the, my issue with that is, like, there aren't, like, I feel like, well, I guess they could have cleaned them out, but, like, all the skulls are down there. So I feel like probably what happened happened down there. But I guess maybe, like, they tested it and then they just threw them back down if they failed. And transfer these thousands of vessels to his palace without characters like the Dung Defender finding out. Fair question. So this means that the Pale King probably made his decision without taking any of the vessels out of the abyss. That's what, yeah, 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 yeah. I think it happened down there, yeah. ...make his evaluation. I think the best explanation comes from a theory I originally heard from a user named Golden Flower Fan. Look at him shouting Basically, him out. Good on the vessels were hatched down at the bottom. Oh, is it a goo abyss, ritual? And the first one to make it to the top oh, was okay, chosen by the I Pale see. King. In a memory of this event, we see vessels falling from above back down into the pit of the abyss. I like that. Perhaps I like that these theory. vessels weren't being cast down into the abyss, but fell while trying to escape out of it. The lore tablet outside the abyss appears to support. Ascended, us. ascended up. It reads. I see. Our pure vessel has ascended. Beyond lies only the refuse and regret of its creation. Yeah. We shall enter that place no longer. That's this lit. tablet was likely written like Gorb, right shout after out the Gorb. Hollow Knight was chosen, considering that is when the entrance to the abyss was sealed off. The tablet proclaims that the pure vessel has ascended. How did we get out, though? Because we are also one of these and things. while cut content should never be considered canon, I would just like to point out that... But another one also got out, you know? ...this tablet, found in the game's code, was even more explicit about this. It read, From below, our pure vessel has ascended. But how does making it to the top of the abyss first mm. prove that the Hollow Knight is somehow a perfectly hollow vessel? Well, I think this whole concept might just be a misconception. What if the Hollow Knight wasn't any different from the other vessels? He was just the first to make all it. All the vessels were made in the yeah. exact same way, after all. Oh, another one the in Green Path, you get the dash from somehow Ooh, good more idea. hollow yeah. than the other vessels comes from the fact that there good were point. so many vessels created in the first place. I was fine with keyboard. It's up to you. I, I did one, keyboard, though. Then why create so goddamn many? I mean, this is like Octomom on steroids. Well, these are bugs we're talking about, so it would make sense that multiple offspring would come. Dang, Tim, you get me excited! A new and person playing? They're kind of lit! Produce multiple vessels okay. in hopes that at least one would be able to successfully escape the abyss. No, 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 no. The no. real lore is that the Pale King and the White Lady were just having a really good time, so they kept making more. You know what I mean? Another That's the real reason. Could be the They're just having fun. Pale King just yeeted other vessels that made it to the top first after determining that they weren't hollow. Which would better explain why so many were created. Ultimately, the exact details yeah, aren't super important, but I do find it interesting how many different interpretations can be pulled from this part of the lore. After the Hollow Knight was chosen, the Pale King sealed the doorway to the Abyss, leaving the discarded vessels to rot away Makes in sense. darkness. Makes sense. These actions were not taken lightly by the Pale King or the White Lady. Both participants expressed shame in what they did. Well, but saw no and it's like they have no the will, right? Point. That's the entire point is they have no will, they have no mind, because they can't be corrupted. So, like, you can't do war crimes against somebody that isn't a human. You know what I mean? So, like, you gotta just remove... It's like, you, you know what I mean? It's one of those moments. So, it's like, you can't, like, you can't really be... I don't know if you could really... Like, 
this probably isn't right. It is the corpses of their children, but they're mindless children. So, like, yeah, I mean, they're going to still be emotionally attached, probably. But I feel like you could probably, like, rationalize yourself to feel better with a whole, like, oh, well, they were just mindless tools anyways. You know what I mean? But it'd be, it'd be, it depends. I don't know exactly what their mind space would be with it. Or if that's even true, right? Because the mindless thing is kind of, like, the intention. But, I mean, we, we know from Hollow Knight that he gets corrupted by Radiance with the juice. And we know that we can, like... We seem to have, like, you know, I don't know if but we the have will. But... The only poor sap sealed away in the so universe. there might be still be some will, or maybe will is like an emergent property that even the void it can, it can emerge from, right? There's yeah, they still no other choice. Yeah, also yeah. a lighthouse that was built on top of a naturally Wait, formed spill away in the abyss. There's also a lighthouse that was built on top of a naturally formed spire. Its light shining down on an ocean of abyss below. Inside was one of the Pale King's royal retainers who was left in charge of keeping the lighthouse turned on. So this brave soul was willingly sealed in a dark and dangerous tomb for the rest of his life, just so he could not pull a lever. That's lit. Well, at least he was living with purpose. Yep. <laughs> with the abyss sealed and the Hollow Knight chosen, the Pale King's plan was beginning to come together. The Hollow Knight was raised and trained to prime form, causing it to grow several times its original size. We don't know exactly why this happened. Oh, did the three people help him train, But I guess the Hollow Knight maybe? is just a grower, not a Alright, crazy shower. line, crazy line. We know that the Hollow Knight was trained to use a nail, but why was this even necessary? One possible explanation is that the Hollow Knight needed to protect itself in case an intruder tried to kill it. You, you know, know, yeah, that makes sense. Like the player. Yeah, that makes sense. Or perhaps this was important in the process of containing <laughs> the Radiance. Unfortunately, the details Because you, you of that can fight with a nail in the dream explained. world, so that makes the sense to me. The Hollow Knight might have somehow focused the radiance inside itself, but Team Cherry gives us no explanation of how that might have worked. But that still wasn't enough for the Pale King. Additional seals were needed in order to protect the Hollow Knight's physical body while the radiance was trapped inside of it. To achieve okay. this, the Pale King sought the help of three particular bugs who would later. We had to undo that. Dreamers. That's right. We did have Murray to undo the watcher, that. Murray the Watcher, the Teacher and Hera the Beast. Lurian is definitely the most mysterious of the three dreamers. He lived in the Watcher Spire in the City of Tears. From there, Lurian watched over the city with his telescope. Lurian was a pretty big fan of the King, so it probably took little convincing for him to lie down for him. Lurian might also be tied to another strange incident that occurred in the City of Tears. Hidden on some of Lurian's lore tablets are images of jars. The same jars that can be found stockpiled. That's in the so tower crazy. Of and that's where the collector sits on the outskirts right? of the city. And is the it's literally the corner of that thing that's like hidden. The, game, the collector. Well, he's a void being, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That appears to have been made from the same mold used to create the king's molds. But he doesn't but have armor on him. unique because, well, nah. Good grief, he's naked. True. The collector okay, stayed that was in the tower of love with a noble bug who likely owned the establishment. In the tower, a number of bugs can be found captured in jars, implying that these two were tasked with collecting these creatures. Maybe to check However, on, like, if you get soul out of them or something. Obsessed with grubs, creating a map to keep track of grubs it captured in jars, as well as keeping a strain. Wait, but remember, grub song is the ability that when you get hit, you gain soul. So maybe grubs are uniquely suited for soul stuff. Thoughts? Enshrined. That's why they, they become obsessed with grubs. The style of I don't the know. Vitruvian man. Eventually, the bug staying with the collector decided to lock it inside the Tower of Love and fled to the Queen's Gardens, where it died. Soul Likely uranium <laughs> exposure to the void. Despite being locked up in the tower, the collector is still spotted by the hunter at some point, which either means this only happened recently, or the hunter has been farting around in Hallowness for a long ass time. We have no idea what these creatures were trying to do. It's implied that the Collector was trying to preserve the creatures of Hallow Nest, perhaps trying to protect them from the Oh, uh, that would also infection. make sense, maybe. But we don't know where the Collector's obsession with grubs originated. And while Larian does seem connected to all of this, we don't know how involved he was with this operation, or what its end goal exactly was. Modem on the Teacher lived in the Teacher's Archives, a library built atop a lake of acid in the Fog Canyon. The lower half of her body consists of tentacles, got wrecked by some making larva. her a popular Jeez. subject of the thriving Hollow Knight R34 community. The archives, popular subject for the thriving Hollow Knight R34 community. I can't 
can't make it the out. The archives and the Fog Canyon as a whole are also filled with these strange Metroid knockoffs. These creatures are likely related to Monomon in some way. <laughs> was it Garfield? No shot, it was Garfield. Wait, you might be right. Oh, it's Garfield. It's a Garfield. I got Jabated. I got Jabated. No, bro. Wait, what's her name? Oh, I need uh, to research her later. The lower half of her body. Monomon. Monomon the teacher. Okay. Good to remember. Researching her later for lore. These creatures are likely related to Monomon in some way. They could be her live offspring, her test tube babies, or possibly even her shit. Okay. Monomon uses futuristic cathoid ray tube things to store information <laughs> about Halonest. Oh well, yeah, I mean, I know that. In the I mean, archive go into detail about, about the Pale King's Pale King? plan. Allegedly, allegedly, yeah. Yeah, I heard about that. Moldemon had intimate knowledge of what she was taking part in. Finally, the Pale King sought the help of Hera the Beast, the Queen oh, of Deepness. Oh, Queen of Deepness, yeah, okay. Now, as I mentioned earlier, yeah, how did how did that Hellness come about? And Deepness Just desperate times. Kind of not great. Yeah. Unlike the other two dreamers, Hera needed to be convinced in order to help the Pale King. Hera would eventually agree to become a dreamer, in exchange for a child. The Pale King agreed, and the two engaged in a dalliance, which is a fancy way of saying they totally boned. The White Lady uh, was okay with this arrangement. In fact, she might have been- She liked it! She liked it! She liked it! The motive behind Hera's request- is Wait, is Hera a spider? Is it Hornet? It's never That's the only on. person I can think but of, but it appears as though the King of Deep Nest was dead at this point. Hera was a common bird. I don't know who the child so would perhaps have been. she desired the Pale King's Pale Seed so pale that her child crazy. could be of high birth. The bargain between Hera and Aha! resulted in the birth This guy is paying attention! She became known as the gendered child because unlike the Pale King's other children, she's Hornet a woman. Was not hollowed out by the abyss. Hera and Hornet spent little time together. Wow, that's why Hera sealed siblings make so much sense. Had to make good on her end of the bargain. That's lit. And so the three dreamers were put to rest. Because we actually are siblings. Seal was placed over the black Aww. egg. Wait, that means I can't. It'd be incest. Wait, making a move with Hornet would literally be incest. We're freaking hoed. Wait, it's over. Entrance into the. What's chain. up, Cochin? What's up? These streamers uh, also had their own protection. At the base of Lurian's spire, the Watcher Knights guarded access. To Only the half. That's body. crazy. That's Modemon's crazy. body was protected by a giant jellyfish named Umu. On top of this, Motomon entrusted her Monomo's servant, servant Quirrell, is Quirrell? With a mask which would be required to break an additional oh, seal. Oh, I do remember that actually. Herself. Yeah. So she basically is it double was, wrapping herself. It was the team up. As for Hera, we're not really sure what protected her. No, it was the team this up. I remember the team up. actually seen in game. We don't know where this creature is hiding, but whoever it is, they really suck at their job. Now there appears to be one more element to the Pale King's plan involving the Weavers. Hidden away in the weaver's den is an incomplete seal of binding, mm. woven from silk. This design prominently features the Hollow Knight's head, and can be found That's in the actually White cooking. Palace, as well as blocking the exit during the Hollow Knight fight. Silk spools created by the weavers can be found in the Stag Station in Deep Nest, as well as the Stag Station next to the White Palace. These spools can also be found in the Pale King's workshop. We know that the weavers were closely tied to Hera and Hornet, so their actions might have been a part of the deal between the Pale King Wait, and we're like demigods. Hornet and um main character are basically demigods. Like all the like I guess all of them are. But it's like there's like the high the highborn and then it's the the child of the highborn. That's kind of lit. We're like yeah, we're higher beings, but it's like kind of like because it well, I guess with um the seal like the void children, it was like full gods kind of because it was the pale tr the pale woman and the pale king or the pale king and the white woman where hornet was half common bug so yeah i think yeah hornet demi higher being and we kind of full yeah 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 true 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 right. hornet a demigod once the hollow knight yeah the ready, white woman remember the was somehow channeled into the vessel which was then placed inside of a giant black egg located in the forgotten crossroads this higher beings these words are for you alone oh hollow shoot knight, it itself appears to be cooking a void the hollow knight was chained up and the entrance to the black egg was locked behind a powerful seal created by the three dreamers. So that's why he has the res this the thing in the, actually worked, the thing inside of him. And the what went wrong then? Cuz it looks like it yeah. Memorial and then we only we we broke it back Hollow out. Knight and the dreamers were erected in the city of tears and the resting grounds. But this is the part of the story where things Okay, we don't really know what hazy. went wrong. Okay, lit. By the time these statues were constructed, 
Citizens had taken to writing on parchment woven from spider silk, oh, which was all destroyed when yeah. water started pouring down onto the city. Yeah. We don't know how long the Hollow Knight was able to completely contain the infection. Bugs from Dirtmouth used to go to the Temple of the Black Egg to pray, saying they felt at peace within the walls. But after a while, they stopped going, perhaps indicating that the infection was beginning Step to leak out drama. again. Crazy. The infectious air continued to seep through Hallness for years, eventually even reaching the deepest parts of the kingdom. As it turns out, the Pale King's pure vessel wasn't quite so pure after all. The Hollow Knight had been tarnished by an idea. Oh shoot, still. yeah. While the game never explicitly tells us oh, what that's it mean. was, what is it? It does hint strongly at what it might be. Hidden away in the White Palace is a memory showing the Hollow Knight and the Pale King sharing a moment. The Hollow Knight might have developed a parental bond to the Pale mm. King, and who could blame it? The Pale King is a pretty great dad, after all. You know, yeah, all the dead, the yeah, yeah, and yeah. everything. Remember the those pink cuts, you know, I remember that, dickheads? Yeah. Well, it turns out their trust in the Pale King was a complete mistake. Oh, but they're they're juicing. Too good now, <gasps> the hive mind, because she's a hive mind too. Of a remember? Giant mushroom lies dormant. Its final thoughts were, "Pale worm, what good to see a demise unavoidable." Whoa. This could imply that the Pale King always knew that his kingdom was doomed. All he could do was delay the inevitable. This is likely the moment when Hallenest, as it once was, entirely collapsed. The Hollow Knight had not completely stopped the infection. So still got out. And while it may have taken a while, because of that Hallenest was eventually scene. brought low. It's at this point that characters and areas begin to resemble as we know them in game. I see. When it became clear that the Hollow Knight was not able to contain the radiance, the Pale King resorted to his final plan. He fucked off, hiding himself. <laughs> his white palace, and okay. his pale court in the dream. <laughs> he world. said later, dog. At this point, all of the furniture in the palace That's was funny. covered under white sheets, similar to how people in the real world cover their furniture while away on long trips. The palace was also completely covered with thorns and buzz saws, similar to how people in the yeah. real world cover their houses with thorns and It's always a pain saws. to rip that back out. The pale king would eventually back. pass away while sitting on his throne in the white palace. There's no confirmation on what killed him, but there are a few things to consider. The throne room is incredibly dark compared to the rest of the palace, and the particle effects oh, and okay. ambient track in this room are identical to that of the abyss. All of the king's molds surrounding the Pale King are dead. The ancient basin itself also has become stained with the presence of void, as it can be seen as high as the rundown elevator shaft leading mm, back to the city. The black particles. Remember yeah. that bug that was sealed away in the abyss to make sure the lighthouse wasn't turned off? Well, the lighthouse was turned off. I guess that whole living with purpose thing is a crock of shit after this all. Guy. It seems as though the Sea of Void itself actually convinced this bug to betray his king and turn off the lighthouse. A new god to worship. Now I know what you're thinking. Exactly how conscious is the Void? Is the Void able to think for itself? Yeah. Can it form strategies? Does it host a podcast? Mm. Well, according to this Chozo statue ripoff, the Void is powerful but not unified. So while it can thrash around at things that come near it, or call out in unison to turn off a light, it's not a single conscious being. Yeah, Getting back to mind. the Pale okay. King, one could argue that the Void might have played a role in his ultimate demise, and I've argued that viewpoint in the past, but we have to remember that there isn't Yeah, because there's like void juice sure. it looks like leaking out As of an it. Expert well, I guess it was made of void, of mine, so who knows? Johnny Cochran once said, any evidence that the Void was involved in the Pale King's death is sure. circumstantial. He did say that. My name is Johnny Cochran. Just yep. above the White Palace, the bugs in the City of Tears weren't faring much better. Even if we ignore the fact that the infection was still around, there were other issues that helped lead to the city's downfall. Due so, to the like gates the being and... sealed, some bugs resorted oh. to cannibalism in order to avoid oh. starvation. And there's also that metric fuckton of corpses lining the walls of the Soul Sanctum. When all was said and done, the only citizen... Oh, you! I remember you, you little rat! ...who just laughs her ass off about it like she's a fucking Dark Souls character. The White Lady ends up in a cocoon... Little rat? ...in the Queen's Gardens. She decided to place bindings on herself in order to keep her from spreading her... She put on a chastity cage, she okay. She claims that this is because of the shame she feels in helping the Pale King create the vessels. But honestly... Yeah, it's yeah. probably just... Agreed. The White Lady also... She's edging, she's edging. Power. Possibly as a way to keep herself hidden from unwanted visitors. Outside her Oh, like you! Dryas okay, that makes sense. Guard, protecting her queen from the violent traitor mantises. Dryah is eventually killed off by these bugs, which is actually pretty pathetic if you think about it. 
I mean, we're talking like the neck gear. Oh no, my, not this again, bro. Not the. I don't understand what you're yammering about, bro. Speaking I'm not a Wi-Fi router guy. Dying pathetically. Let's move on. Like, to please. <laughs> Hagemul held the city crest, a key used to open one of the gates to the city of tears. At some point, Hagemul's armor shell was stolen. By <gasps> false knight. Hence, now, false knight. Generally hence, down false upon knight. And forced to do menial labor. They were incredibly weak. That makes they basically sense. Deserved all of the discrimination. Crazy line. He said racism's good. He said racism's good. Decided to turn the tide, so he stole Hagemul's shell so that he could defend his downtrodden brothers. His actions weren't motivated by the infection, but instead was the result of how hierarchical caste systems will always Yo! Yo, maggots! And that true freedom can only be achieved, blah blah blah, capitalism is bad. Spit, spit. Subscribe to my Patreon. Alright. Ogre moved to the Royal Waterways <laughs> and started living in shit, changing his name to Dung Defender. Now I love wallowing in shit as much as the next guy, but you'd have to really love shit to put up with living with the flukes. The Dung Defender kept an unwavering sense of duty and loyalty to the king, and love for his fellow knights. So much so that he made shit statues of them. How nice. Ogrim acted as the defender of the pipeways, as well as Isma's grove. Ogrim, a section pipe, of the royal piping Ogrim, filled with acid. Bird. And in the middle of it all rests Isma's corpse, which has been Isma's the one that gives us the the, the Isma buff is likely for the, the acid, one right? responsible for this acid. I think she buffs us. We have no idea what happened. I don't remember exactly though where we Hornets got that. Hornets' whereabouts during this time are yeah, fairly yeah, okay, mysterious. The, 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 we know that she departed Deep Nest and didn't return until the events of the game. That makes a lot of At sense. At some though. point, she took to guarding Halness from intruding warriors, as well as she's the fighting Quirrell there, shell maybe. In the kingdom's kind of like Quirrell. Despite the kingdom's woes at large, fortunately, this fate did not befall one of the fandom's favorite characters. The Menderbugs continued to fix the broken signs and wayposts of Halloness. Please. From a diary entry, we can see that one Menderbug in particular. Not the Menderbugs, bro. The of a long and loving what did you do, Mending Bug? Hello again, diary. I can't. Oh, I can't. Menderbash. What is going on? We're a riot as Wait, wait, the Menderbugs are lit. They're getting drunk, they're getting high, and they're banging. Wait. Never mind, I run it back. Flashing me that smile. It might be time to muster my courage and act on it. Wait, this I is love lit. My home and my life, but sharing it with another? Why? That would be the berry on top. Green. Okay, wait. wait. I got to pause. Chat. I got to pee again. Right, we're back. We're back. Sorry about that, chat. Sorry about that, chat. Spare some pee for me. Don't worry. I got No, no, I'm not doing that. What? Yeah, the urine buff. That's that's how we that's how we got um to almost the end of Pantheon Five on our first try. Wow, this guy's kind of a gamer. It's a shame Nightmare King Grim appeared and I forgot how he worked and I got died. That's a shame. All right, changes keep it going. This time. Thank you, the thank Moss you, Jim. We're waiting for Un's call. Appreciate you. To bring them back into the dream they were originally born from. Moskin. But for some reason, Un's strength deteriorated. We don't know why this happened exactly. Was it due to the White Lady claiming part of her kingdom? Was it somehow due to the infection? Some moths can believe that Un went into off. hiding, but it appears as though Un is, in fact, calling to her children. But many of the Mosskin are unable to hear or call. Instead, many Mosskin seem to have taken the Radiance's infection into their leaves, yeah. which might explain why Green Path became overgrown. To be fair, vegetation. the vegetation, look at this, it's orange thorns. So that may, this might be like Radiance infected vines or something that are like trying to F things up because they're part of the hive mind. Like who's to say like plants, maybe like, can she impact plants as much as bugs? That could be lit. But well, that implies that the plants have soul, which might not be true, but I don't know. Uns deteriorate May, I think that could be true. Moss I think that could be true. Even openly chose to if you hit the on. thorns, orange juice spew out. Okay, yeah, then that is true. All right, lit. And worship the radiance. Well, the crazy thing is you can't worship the radiance because it's the radiance worshiping itself. You know what I mean? Because once it infects you, it's uh, you're part of the hive mind and your your will has like been overtaken. So it's like, I don't, would she, would she let you, like, keep your brain if you were just dedicated to her? Or she might just say, yoink mine. You're kind of, like, giving yourself away. Another tribe to be it's screwed crazy. over by the Radiance is the Hive, which fell to the infection oh, were they after infected? the death of their Wait, actually don't remember Hive that. Queen Vespa. If they had orange But eyes. it appears I guess as though this had little effect on their civilization. Yeah, they're bees. The Radiance's Hive mind was already familiar exactly, yeah. to the bees, since the Hive probably operated under something similar already. Yeah. So in other words, the Hive probably made out the best in this whole situation. Hive seemed lit. Let's turn our attention back to the moths. After all, it's their god that keeps killing everybody. 
Well, the moth tribe didn't fare too well, actually, as pretty much the entire tribe died out. All right. The only known survivor is the seer. Seer, that's right. Despite the loss of her tribe, the seer continued to tend to the graves in the resting grounds, while also waiting the arrival of the wielder, a mysterious being that her tribe has dreamt Me. of for a while. Me. In the kingdom's edge, the land became covered in ash, molting off of the worm's decomposing corpse. The Colosseum of Fools right. continued to thrive. The Lord Fool passed away at some point. Nobody even Nobody cares. Even That's funny, actually. Only. True. <laughs> the fools inside the Colosseum were infected, but still seemed to have maintained control over themselves. It seems possible that these bugs took in the infection willingly, That's funny, similar actually. to the Traitor Lord and his followers. This would have given them an edge in combat, similar to using steroids, but without the whole shrinking testicles thing. However, Confirm? even the Traitor Lord and his followers went mad. So what makes these fools any more special? As for the Pale King's champion, the Pale Lurker, well, she just went the normal kind of insane. There appears to have been another unforeseen event with the Pale King's plan. When the Hollow Knight was originally chosen, the door to the Abyss was sealed, trapping the discarded vessels within. Yeah. But apparently, some vessels didn't get through. Vessel corpses can be found littered yeah. throughout the kingdom. So how did they get out? There's one in the ancient basin, one in Green Path, and several trapped in Nosk's lair in Deepness. How did they get out? Another vessel that escaped from the abyss is the player character, the Knight. That's us! The exact details on how the vessels escaped uh, the abyss is unclear. There are indications that they might have slipped into Deepness through some old passageway, given void influences in part of the area, and all the corpses found in mm, Nosk's lair. Yeah, that would make sense. At some point, all entrances to Hollowness were closed off, with the old well and dirt mouth being the only way to sneak back in. Despite this, several people have wormed their way into the kingdom, with few ever returning. Bro's cooking. Characters like Relic Seeker Lem seem content to just pillage artifacts from the ruined kingdom, but other bugs seem interested in something greater. In the Howling Cliffs rests the corpse of a member of the, the Grim Troop. troop. Yeah, how do you the task fit of in? this bug appears to have been to seek out another the higher being so that the troop might be summoned to the kingdom in the future. Be summoned the to the kingdom. Are so it's a group of bugs. It's existing a being known as the outside. Nightmare. The, the nightmare heart? The heart alive by feeding on the nightmares of fallen kingdoms. This process oh, also involves sacrificing the troop master to his own child because, uh... Hey, look at this cool-ass boss. <laughs> Another okay. important group that traveled to Hallownest are the God Seekers. After being abandoned by their old gods, the gods of thunder and the gods of rain, these bugs... Cool thing about that is... Thunder and rain are both things that only happen on the surface. So they came from the surface, right? Which is different than like a lot of the other guys. Left their home in the land of storms. Which I guess the land of storms is on the surface. Worship. The god seekers look to gods to save them from their own silent mind. While traveling through the wastelands, the god seekers constructed devices god called tuners? god tuners, which helped them seek out new gods. Through this oh, device, they were the able to detect cool. the lingering power of the pale king and find their way to Halonest. When they arrived, however, the God Seeker was forced into hibernation. She Why? was encased in a strange sarcophagus like cocoon, which was itself Ripped chained him. up with Ripped. a lock. <laughs> it's not clear how this forced hibernation worked, seeing as the cocoon appears to have been made by the God Seeker herself. As for who put the cocoon in chains, I think the most likely candidate is the Dung Defender, considering how the God Seeker's cocoon is found in the junk pit in the waterways, an area the Dung Defender has tasked himself with protecting. I don't remember the key was. This was the general picture of Hallow Nest after the Hollow Knight was sealed inside the Temple of the Black Egg. The kingdom was stuck in a kind of stasis, with the Pale King civilization destroyed Godseeker and the Radiance thing. unable to break free from her chains. Yeah. The Pale King was rebelling against nature. It's just a simple key, though. I thought it was indefinite. a special one. The stasis over Halonest held for an age. How long is that exactly? Well, we have no idea. As I'm sure you've noticed, there really isn't a timeline for anything that happens in this game. We also have no idea how long any of these bugs can actually live. Elderbug wasn't around to see the stagways open, but we know several other characters were, implying that Elderbug is probably one of the youngest characters Jontron. in the whole game. But this stasis over Hallownest wasn't going to last forever. Okay. At some point, the radiance erupted out of the Hollow Knight, cracking its shell and releasing a loud and powerful roar. The amount of infection leaking out of the Hollow Knight became even greater. The many corpses that lined the roads and cities of the kingdom sprang to life with the amplified power of the infection. This strengthened infection prompted the departure of the Weavers back to their old home. Now this old home might actually be Farloom, the kingdom in which Hollow Knight Silksong takes place. 
But the amount of knowledge we have about sex <laughs> on the internet was pathetic, so I'm not saying that's confirmed that's or anything. That's funny. This is also around Imagine. the time that Quirrell arrives back in Hallonest. His memory of Monomon appears to have been clouded due to his time outside of Hallonest. These events are depicted in the Quirrell prequel comic, which also That's shows cool. an image of the Hollow Knight with a pre-cracked shell. That's cool. This could mean that Quirrell's arrival happens roughly the same time the Hollow Knight shell cracks. At Maybe around the same he time like, heard the roar Hallonest, or something. We also see the arrival of the player character. Who is commonly referred to as yeah, the maybe knight. I think they were probably all brought in by the roar. Is the what knight it was like. one of the lucky vessels that was able to make its way out of the abyss. Somehow, the knight ended up venturing beyond Hallownest and into the wilds beyond. It's implied that the knight was called to Hallownest by either the sealed Hollow Knight or the radiance yeah. within. Regardless, once the knight shows up and yeets itself off this cliff, the actual game of Hollow Knight finally begins. Now, there's a lot of details we could get into. Hallownest is full of NPCs and bosses, each with their Fluke own stories Hermit? to tell. Yo. But to be honest, I don't think we need to go through all of them, since their stories are relatively straightforward. For example, let's look at the brooding Yo, brooding Moloch! So why is the brooding Moloch brooding? My goat. Because all its friends are dead. Oh. And there you go. That's the lore for the brooding Moloch. He's covered in orange juice, too. He's the only character in the game with a visible asshole. What about the fluke? The fluke is a bunch of assholes on a one, now, you know, really it's a bunch of assholes. That to you? Probably not. So instead, I'm just going to talk about the interactions relating to Hollow Knight's main story. Holy crap, that was actually gaming. So Look at this gaming I'm just material. I'm going to talk about the interactions relating to Hollow Knight's main Yo. story. The knight is eventually noticed by Hornet, who lures it deep into Green Path. There, Hornet attempts to kill the knight, claiming that she knows what it would try to do. At this point, Hornet views the knight as being too weak. After the fight, Hornet can be found in the City of Tears. Oh, remember? I accidentally didn't talk to her at one of these Hornet things. Hornet mentions <laughs> that the knight has gained a resilience due to the time it's- You've seen beyond this kingdom's bounds. Yours is a resilience born of two voids. Ooh, the void from below and the void outside the town above. That's kind of lit. Spent in the void beyond Hallownest. This could be referring to the fact that some of those who leave Hallownest lose their memories. Yeah, you lose your like would brain. Have no memories of its own tragic conception. Which is important because you're a better you're a better vessel if you have like if you don't have those connections. So that's actually good. Hornet tells the knight that if it seeks to continue the stasis that keeps Hallownest standing, it must seek the Graven Ash. That makes which sense. Is referring to the Kingdom's Edge. At this moment, Kingdom's Hornet Edge. We have to edge more. Possible replacement for the Hollow Knight. Basically, the knight could break the seals that keep the Hollow Knight locked away, defeat the Hollow Knight, and contain the infection itself. It's at this point that I should mention- Wait, so the the best ending is the God Path ending, where you just murder her. That's good. That Hollow Knight actually has five different endings, because of course it would. I'm going to be That's actually good. These endings in this video as they each give us a different glimpse into the mechanics of Hollow Knight's world. Now, to get the easiest ending to Hollow Knight, avoid being fine. <laughs> to go to the Kingdom's Edge can be ignored completely. If the knight stumbles upon the resting grounds, the three dreamers will appear and cast the knight into the dream realm. There, Seer will come to the knight's rescue and grant it the dream nail. A special place That was crazy. That was so cool to get. Yeah. And the dream world. With the dream nail, the knight can venture to the resting places okay. of the three dreamers, okay. curb stomp their asses, okay. and unlock the entrance to the black <laughs> Yoda egg. Death Scream. Inside the egg, the knight finds the Hollow Knight chained up, silently watching over it. Once the chains are broken, the Hollow Knight screams with that familiar radiance roar and pursues the knight. As the fight progresses, the Hollow Knight starts trying to kill itself. Giga Chad, Giga Chad, Giga Chad, Giga Chad, Giga Chad. Then the radiance starts using the Hollow Knight's body to perform her own attacks. Once defeated, the Hollow Knight begins to spew infection all over the place. The Knight can then And then you're grabbing her. That makes itself. sense. That's cool. This results in the first ending of the game, called Hollow Knight. In this ending, the Knight usurps the Hollow Knight, prolonging the stasis over Hallownest. New chains and bindings appear out of... Fuck if I know. And contain the Knight. And a new seal is placed over the entrance to the Black Egg. So that's like that's now, like there is one giant question that that doesn't really change the status quo. Can it just kind of returns to it. Infection so I don't I don't. Eh, or will the yeah. Still manage to break free one day. Before we answer this question, let's look at some of the other events that can transpire while playing the game. If the player chooses to go to Kingdom's Edge, Hornet will challenge the Knight one last time as a final test of strength. After her defeat, Hornet allows the Knight to access the cast-off shell where the Pale King was originally hatched. 
By interacting with this egg, the knight's shell is marked with the king's brand, technically making the knight the new ruler of Hallownest. With the king's brand, the knight can now open the entrance to the abyss and discover the place of its birth. When leaving That's the crazy. abyss, the knight can encounter Hornet again, where for the first time, Hornet suggests that there are actually two outcomes the knight can enact. She tells the knight that it can either prolong Hallownest's stasis, or face the heart of the kingdom's infection. Face the heart, Giga Within Chad, the Giga night, Hornet sees a chance for change. Instead of just replacing the Hollow Knight, we can Hornet cut it out at its root. It's possible to get rid of the infection completely by using the void inside of the knight. That's a, one of the. That's a really interesting statue. After <laughs> that's visiting the abyss and obtaining the I don't shape, think I saw that. The knight is capable of reaching the White Lady, hidden away in the Queen's Gardens. Mama. The White Lady tells the knight that she has been awaiting a vessel to accept a gift. It's Mama. That gift being one half of a charm called the King Soul, which she claims will give the knight more power. The White Lady goes on to explain that she can feel the weakness of the Hollow Knight within program. her roots. She tells the knight that it is free of the blemishes that made the Hollow Knight a flawed vessel. From this dialogue, it is implied that the knight truly is a pure vessel, capable of containing the radiance successfully. But it's not quite that simple, so we're gonna have to dig a bit deeper into this. Basically, we're gonna need to answer a simple question. What exactly does it mean to be a hollow knight? Despite the white lady's words, we I have don't a number of steel instances soul guy. where the cool. characters and item descriptions mention that the knight has a will, Unifoy and the maybe even a need. mind. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. King's okay. dialogue when describing the Hollow Knight, no will to break. It is stated that a pure vessel has no mind or mm. will. So is the White Lady wrong, or maybe even lying? Her eyes have been clouded by time, and she can be tricked into thinking that Ogrim is in the room when the Knight is wearing the Defender's Crest charm. She oh, also that's thinks cool. that Drya is still alive, which, uh, that's sad. Yeah, that's pretty sad. So maybe the White Lady is just senile. My problem with that theory is that the White Lady states that the vessels stand out to her clearly in a misted world, due to them being her spawn. She also questions whether or not the Knight sought her aid, which would imply that the Knight must have some kind of will. So for whatever reason the Good White job, Lady Tim. thinks the Knight is still Cooking. capable of containing the Radiance, even if it's still able to make decisions. After all, the Hall Knight was considered pure, but they still taught it how to wield a fucking sword. I mean, if the knight White was lady is and beautiful. completely hollow in a literal sense, it probably shouldn't even be able to walk, or draw a map, or open a gun. Oh, don't get me started on the bank account. account. Don't bring that up, sure. please. This whole concept of being hollow is so abstract and hard to define, I don't really feel comfortable giving a solid answer on whether or not the knight is or isn't true. Don't get me hollow. started on that and nonsense, bro. Please, I just can't. Of course, the White Lady's gift is useless without the other half of the King's soul. In order to reach it, however, the knight must travel to the White Palace, yeah. locked inside the body of the <laughs> King's Bolt. In order to bypass the seal, the knight must use a fully awakened dream. Remember when I accidentally did that? <laughs> I was just like, oh, random guy can nail, <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> to sharpen the weapon's blade. I'm so the late. Does this, the seer remarks that the knight truly is oh, the wielder funny. that her tribe has been dreaming of. There is no explicit reason why the Moth Tribe was dreaming about this supposed wielder so much, but it seems like they believe the wielder would wash away the crimes the Moth Tribe committed by turning their backs on the Radiance. The Seer seems to know that the Knight might kill the Radiance, and she seems accepting of it, ready for her and her tribe to disappear and be forgotten forever. With the Awoken Dream Nail in hand, the Knight can travel to the Pale King's Refuge and locate the other half of the King's Soul Charm. Yeah. That when makes sense. So each of them, the mom and the dad, basically are the, of soul, making are the it two almost halves useful of the king's soul. The insanely high cost of the charm, and the painfully slow rate at which it increases. Facts. And the fact that the Facts. charm will get replaced in about five minutes after you get it. Facts. The king's soul charm <laughs> itself symbolizes the union between two higher beings. Yeah, mama and papa. To me, this implies that the king's soul is a representation of a vessel, which also was created by the union. Of didn't mean to pause on the two cockroaches banging. The crazy thing about that is that means that the union of the two of them produced soul. Because the king's thing makes soul passively over time. And it's the and it's them two their two halves, so it's like two higher beings. Emergent property question mark. With the king's soul in their inventory, That's kind of a crazy thing. Right now gains access to an area in the abyss called the birthplace. In this massive pile of vessels, yeah, shells, yeah. the knight can find a giant egg. Dream the Remember when I didn't dream know that? That was funny. Own memory when it was cast <laughs> down into the abyss. 
From viewing that memory, the King Soul Charm is replaced with the Void Heart Charm. The recollection of this event allows the knight to come to terms with the void inside itself. Ooh, and the Once mirror the works really well heart, there. The shades in the abyss no longer attack it, and that strange creature that gives the knight the shade cloak calls it the Lord of Shades. Ooh, that's cool. We didn't, I don't think I in saw that. In other words, the knight has now bound the once fragmented void under its own will. Ooh, and in Hollow Knight, in the in the God thing, he does the the black the black attack is the same thing, right? Because it's a void attack, so even he got some of that. Pizzazz. He has to control the void in a powerful because he has a black attack. With the union of the void, that's kind of cool. Pale King and the White Lady, the knight has gained a strength before unseen. <laughs> Just dead by ass charm, and GG. The two additional endings become unlocked. Hornet will now be standing outside of the Black Egg, offering to help the knight should the opportunity arrive. Midway through the fight with the Hollow Knight, Hornet rushes this into was the battle, subduing the Hollow Knight and piercing its shell. It's at Help this point me! That the knight is given the perfect opportunity to enter into the mind of its sibling, fighting the source of the infection head on, and finally putting. Or you can just sit there and do nothing, tear. and yeah. Or you can just stand there and let Hornet get knocked unconscious. If the knight finishes off the Hall Knight as usual, the sealed sibling ending occurs. Basically, it's the same as the Hollow Knight. See, that's the crazy but thing to me. Like, how could this be canon and, and one where she's not stuck in there? The like, that's what's so crazy game. to me. It's not clear what exactly this means. Because she's sealed. This might imply that Hornet is now a dreamer, but she's inside the temple, meaning that no one can Hornet actually get in there to kill her should the knight ever start leaking infection. At the same time, Hornet mentions that the bindings of the Black Egg would drain her, so she's probably just going to die knows? anyway, right? Generally, people consider this to be one of the worst endings, yeah, that's but what it's worth pointing out that Team Cherry doesn't support any one ending as being the true ending. Each ending is canonical in its own. Okay, well, good luck. Maybe, hey, hey, maybe this is why Silk Song is taking so long. I figured it out. It's because they've made five different games for each of the endings. Honestly, this ending is I figured worst. it out. At least the Knight and Hornet will get to spend some quality time together. If the Knight does dream of the Hollow Knight, it will be taken to an arena where it can finally fight the Radiance head on. But the Knight isn't alone. Oh, true, the other, the other shades help. Appear in order to help corner the Radiance. That's actually lit. Eventually, the Radiance gets and then hold Oh, I forgot how lit this was. This was so cool. For a couple times, and that was actually so hype. That was such a hype fight. The Black Egg then appears to turn to shadows and the Void seeps down into the ground. Hornet awakens to find the Knight's broken shell lying on the floor. We get one final shot of the Shades in the Abyss going to rest, and so... the game is over. This ending is called the Dream No We got more. her, but we got Radiance dead. Radiance is gone, and Halloness is finally free from her infection. Or at least our shade went to rest. Now I think it's fair to ask a few questions about how the Dream No More ending comes about. When the Hollow Knight was initially chosen to become the pure vessel, the Abyss was sealed up, and the rest of the vessels were left to rot away. But somehow, vessels ended up outside of the Abyss, and then one of those vessels was used to replace the Hollow Knight. Exactly how much of this operation was planned, if at all. The White Lady was waiting for a vessel. Did she have any communication with Hornet? Hornet was guarding the King's Brand, the only way for a vessel to enter the Abyss. How did she know it was necessary to guard the King's well, Brand? Well, maybe Stokes would vessels? be a prequel to answer a lot of this, Hell, but if the I feel like it wouldn't. It'd be kind of crazy themselves. if it was. Wouldn't it be pointless to guard the King's Brand, since the vessels could just creep back into the Abyss the same way? I'm not going to provide any good answers to these questions, because God forbid I answer anything in this entire Whoa. video. But I do want to point out. <laughs> Wait, I want to read these. Because God forbid I answer any. How did the White Lady get around? Why aren't the infected bugs in the Colosseum mindless? That's a good question. That's a great question. Maybe their will can control it a little bit. I don't know. They're just doping. What's the deal with pale beings? Is this a commentary on race or something? All right. Did Ogrim give Isma a dirty son? I, I don't even know what that means. I just know it don't sound good. How did the Hollow Knight grow? He got a strong forehead. Uh, maybe got a bunch of soul in him. I don't freaking know. Why does the collector probably diddle? Gr what are you talking about? Where's the deep nest boss? Seriously, what the fuck? Bad game design. Why is Un's strength decreasing? Why are we here just to suffer? But I do want to that point out that diddle grubs. What are you no yammering about, man? Actually, produced the dream no more ending are explicitly stated in game. So we can only speculate as to whether or not the White Lady... That was my away, favorite ending. Or maybe that even ending was so King fun. ...knew that they could defeat the Radiance by creating a Lord of Shades like the Knight. Regardless, the next two endings... Because th those two are so lit. Definitely not planned. In fact, the last two endings that okay. were added... Oh, this was an update. update. I didn't... That makes sense. feel out of place. All right, let's see what... The God oh, we watched both of these. Hijack right. everything to the point where you don't even have to enter the Temple of the Black Egg. Oh, really? That's crazy. That's like beating Mario Bros. without well, ever seeing Bowser. 
Yeah. But on the other hand, but it happens all in the dream realm, right? Of course, that Hollow Nest does not exist in a vacuum, which can help the world of Hollow Knight feel That's more real. Because what else is reality but just a bunch of random chaotic stuff happening all the time? All right. If the knight finds the god in the moment? Jump pit, it will be able to enter her mind and refight all the bosses in the game. No thanks. This is part of the God Seeker's ritual. They basically attune to the resonance of gods through ritual combat. This allows them to ascend their minds higher and eventually, through the use of godly focus, achieve communication with the gods sleeping in Halloness' heart, the Radiance. Now I know what you're thinking. That's a pretty convoluted little religious practice. I mean, it low-key works. What's next? Are they going to start measuring the knight's Theon levels? It's pretty complicated, <laughs> but the point is, these Godseekers have some serious capabilities to fuck things up in Hallownest, as we're about to see. As the knight makes it further and further through the four pantheons, the Godseekers get closer and closer to making contact with the Radiance, locked away inside the Hollow Knight. At the end of the fourth pantheon, the Radiance makes herself aware in this strange reunion cutscene between the vessels. But she isn't the only one to make an appearance. The Void itself appears to go on the attack, rising up mm. to meet the Radiance's call. It makes sense. It's at this point that the final challenge, it's got a bunch of the void Pantheon juice in of Palamest, becomes available. The Godseeker finally acknowledges the Knight as being more than just a simple cringer, and True. they begin to watch the Knight more <laughs> intently. After Put some respect on my name. Zillion bosses in the final pantheon. Yeah, that's the such knight a pain. Finally Actually, comes a face pain. to face with the absolute radiance. Okay. A stronger, more enhanced version of the game's final boss. Finally, the stage is set. After roughly 40 minutes of intense agony, true. And tedious. Bosses, <laughs> the knight has finally reached the ultimate enemy. Oh, you need void heart. Oh, because it's all voidy, probably. Yeah. Honest. Truly. This will be a battle for the ages. Okay, we're about to undercut it with a joke. But first, let's check in yep. on our old pal. You can't be hyping it up that he's much. I knew you were going to say something nonsense, bro. You had too much, bro. Get the mender bugs out of here. Fine, what's he got? Time. Let me know. My lovely diary. Someone's yeah, I'm not going to do it again, and I'm going to do it again. Right there, at the top of the cross. I will break it every single time. To, yeah. You know, I just can't get mad about it. I should be thanking them. Really. Dang it. More chances to fix that beautiful. These freaking guys, bro. And I've stocked up on spare parts, so I've no fear it'll ever stay broken for long. Unfortunately, the only way to ever read the Menderbug. You get to kill him? To kill him in cold blood. I'm not sure why Team Cherry thought this was. Yes. <laughs> but the general consensus on Reddit is that they are bloodthirsty warmongers. So it. Goated. 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 Last moments will be spent fixing one of his favorite signs in the Forgotten. Cross. I didn't. I don't think I ever got to do it's that. That's to crazy. That his final seconds of consciousness were spent in total bliss. Before we sent him hurtling into the infamous Good move. chasm that is. Good move. Good move. Well, anyways. The alternate fight between the knight and the radiance plays out differently than in the vanilla ending. This time around, the knight is not accompanied by any shades. Oh yeah, any, Instead, you're right. after defeating the radiance, the knight seems to transform into this monstrosity. Yeah. Now this creature goes by many names. God of gods, the, the god lord of shade. Gods, what the is lord going on? Shade, the devourer, the void entity. But I don't really like any of those. Why not calling so him, Bill? Call him Bill? No. Bill proceeds to completely <laughs> okay. annihilate the Radiance in spectacular fashion. We are then treated to the Embrace the Void ending. Bill comes back down from the sky, dropping into the rest of God home. The God Seeker starts to get pulled into Bill by Void tendrils. We then cut to the God Seeker in the junk pit. Void starts leaking out of her eyes, and it appears as though Bill is making an escape back into the real world. Which is probably a bad thing? Finally, we see Hornet standing outside of the Black Egg as the infection begins to disappear. Oh, it was fading. That makes sense. Hornet hears footsteps coming from inside the Black Egg as the Hollow Knight reveals itself to her and the two prepare for combat. So from this cutscene, we can see that the Radiance is dead. Mm, but why would the Hollow Knight try to fight her? her for real? Because the infection's gone, so he's no longer mindless, so why would he want to fight? This means the seals inside of the Black Egg probably wore off, allowing the Hollow Knight to escape its prison. In other words, the Embrace of the Void ending is a goddamn may, cliffhanger. Well, we don't know if he wanted to fight her. No it's, yeah, we actually don't know if he wanted to fight her. The Hollow Knight is running loose in Hallow Nest, and the Knight has transformed into a raging void monster that might try to destroy the mm. entire kingdom, or at least what's left of it. What's even more strange about this ending is that the announced sequel, Hollow Knight Silk Song, doesn't seem to be related to this ending at all. Yeah. But that's a whole different shit. Who knows? Obviously, the biggest mystery surrounding this ending is the appearance of Bill. 
Did this creature exist in the void already? Wait, let me watch Running this again. This so it looks like... It looks like this was... Yeah, okay, so this was the night. Right, right here. And then... So the night splits. It's the biggest mystery. And then the, uh, it drops the into the juice. The and then a tendril comes out. Did this creature exist in the Yeah, battle? so the question is, is it a new creature or is it like somehow compelled Ready? by the night? Or was it somehow willed into existence by the power of the god seekers? Or the and the, did plus the night, Yeah, did the night turn into it? I turn into this thing? That's a good yeah. Or did it just become a part of it? Examining a statue of this creature and other forms of the night, grant the player a hunter's journal entry for an ancient artifact called the Void Idol, which might imply this Let me creature read this. might Rare artifact from a time before Hollow Nest. It spy spires twinned in a unified form. Contains a large amount of liquid from the abyss, perfectly still. That's cool. Inspired or mad, those ancient bugs, they devoted their worship to no lord or power or strength, but to the very darkness itself. Dang. Might have been worshipped by the ancient civilization. But again, that's pure speculation. I'm not- he's not we Bill! <laughs> we can't call him Bill! Like. Maybe the void they worship took the form of something more sinister. There's one thing we know about this McDonald's. monster, though. It's weak to flowers. Yeah, pretty blue flowers. Yes, these things. No, other ones. As it turns out, those delicate flowers that Zamir has stockpiled up her ass are actually- Are they actually up there? Something. Sorry. They contain a strange power that even deters the white lady from touching one. The Godseeker, however, is dumb enough to accept the flower from the night. If the player does this, instead of Void being released out into the world- Oh, so the Void gets- will know you. And the God Seeker cancels out the void, but Hollow Knight's still free. That the makes sense. The flower itself is described as giving off a pale light, which appears to connect it to the pale beings. Mm. Like I said before, pale beings appear to be some form of top tier gods. As of right now, we are only aware of two. Maybe a third. The pale king and the white lady. But the fact that Zamir brought these pale flowers from a faraway land implies that there are definitely more of them out there. Another small hint of the existence oh, pale of pale to upgrade your nail. The pale ore mm. items that can be found all over Hallownest. Did these come from the Pale King, or possibly some other pale being? And what exactly are they? Are they poop? Don't call them In poop. general, the Godmaster what? endings appear to be doing a lot of setup for future Hollow Knight content. Like I said before, Hollow Knight. Oh my goodness, I love that character. Connect these events on the surface. So we are in a bit of a bind when trying to discuss what these endings actually mean for the greater narrative Team Cherry is building. There's definitely a lot more to consider about what the Pale Beings are and what Lace, properties yeah, they possess. Lace. And we also have plenty of questions surrounding the Void and how bugs have interacted with it in the past. It almost feels like we are looking through a keyhole, trying to grasp onto the totality of Team Cherry's creation. How powerful are okay, creatures let's like calm down. and the Worms? <laughs> Where did things like the Void even come from to begin with? How much bigger is the world beyond Hallownest? Is Bardoon into butt stuff? Why? Like... Well, of course, that's the appeal of a game like Hollow Knight. Having all of the answers to every question would just ruin the mystery It's cool that the, the it's world. orange. Plus, the if we didn't orange. have questions like this to waste our time on, then what else would we be doing with our lives? Go outside? What? Ugh. And so this video what? comes to an end. <laughs> Now, I know the average attention span of a YouTube view. No, that was a good video. We actually really answered, like, all the questions, huh? YouTube Are they not all, but, like, uh, the big ones. One. Hollow Knight is a game about bugs. True. I know this may come as a shock. I actually didn't know that one. I didn't know that Watch one. Watch the video again. And this time, okay. pay attention. We're gonna have to go back to the start. You'll notice right away. I promise. Okay. Two. Murdering your own babies might not be such a good idea after all. I mean, this is obviously... I mean, it worked. The infection did get stopped. And murdering the babies was part of that. Just my interpretation of the game's lore. Other well, they didn't murder them. They just shut them away to starve. All the shades are still alive. They're just part of the void now. Have different views on the subject of murdering babies. And every opinion is valid. So yeah, okay. Well, he said he said he's fine with my... Yeah, that opinion. So, okay. Three. Chill. We're chill with it. Menderbug is fucking <laughs> dead. Four. Thank goodness. Nothing Shout is out. This video probably has a few flaws in it. Trying to construct a cohesive narrative with the information found in Hollow Knight isn't exactly straightforward. I'm sure my views will change in the future, and I encourage you to explore the lore yourself. 5. And this last point is fairly obvious, oh but I should mention it anyway. Cory in the House is the best anime. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's a party every week, baby! 
embraced one. Yeah. 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 That's actually a crazy lore, man. That's actually, dude. There's so much going on in that. Wow. What? What is? Oh, this is pretty much a fully Hollow Knight channel, huh? There's like four. So this is four years ago. Are you?